All right, ladies and gentlemen, my daughter's in there sleeping right now, so it's time for me to sneak out and get my aquaponics on. <music> Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, the last time we worked on the bead filter, there was a few things that were missing. You guys remember, it was the airflow meter that was missing, and I ended up taking care of that. Thought I heard a snake. Ended up taking care of that. Called my man Paul from AST Filters. You can check that out right quick. Hey, Paul, how you doing, man? What, what's up, Paul, man? Um, I have some questions for you real quick. Go ahead. Um, on the bead filter, the endurance bead filter that I got, um, I don't see the... Um, what is that thing called? It's supposed to be like the check, not the check valve, the um, there's a thing that controls the air, the airflow meter. So you need the airflow meter and I gotta get this sent. That's, that's gonna go in a box and ship out today, all right? Okay, so perfect. Okay, I appreciate you, Paul. You got it, bro. All, all, right. Right. all right, man. So we took care of that and the uh, airflow meter was placed on, but then I had another problem that arose and that was the small little air pump that comes with the endurance filter. It, I couldn't figure out how this thing was supposed to connect to the airflow meter. So you can check that out. My man Paul, he helped out with that. So we're gonna go in here and check and see if we can uh, configure it the way that Paul was saying. Woo! All right. We've got everything in here. Fish in here looking beautiful. Just looking beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off real quick because I don't feel like hearing this madness. Fish are be all right for a few minutes. So this is what we have going on. We have the airflow meter right here that I had a chance to come out and install. Air, air comes from here, rises up through here, comes to this tubing here, and then it makes its way into the filter. And then that eventually causes a, um, a bubble that moves out towards this way and then it ends up coming up and it shakes the beads. So the problem that I was having is how the heck am I supposed to connect this large tube, it's like a 3 8 in, uh, inch tube, to this little thing right here? So it was boggling my mind. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and check out the bead filter guide helping me out real quick, and then uh, we'll see if we can figure this out. Hey, I see this is Paul. Paul, oh, this is Brooklyn again. Hey, Brooklyn, what's up, man? I got a question, I got, I, I got a question, man. Um, so for okay. the, the bead filter, Okay, I received the package. I received the um, the um, the flow meter and everything like that. The pipe, yeah. on, the pipe on that flow meter, the um, the tubing is like a three eighths inch. But on that air pump that 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 um, that was sent originally, that has a super small tubing on it. It's like a like a maybe a one fourth inch or something like that. So I'm not I'm not seeing how those are connected together. I hooked the bead filter up to like a regenerative blower that I already had um, connected with that same hole size that came with that flow meter that you had. Yeah, yeah. So the, the tiny air pump, the Coralife Luft pump, yes. um, <coughs> that has a tiny little piece of tubing. Yes, yep, yep. That, that we provide with it. The tubing that comes off of the air flow meter fits onto that tiny little piece of tubing that we provide with it. So you just slide that right on and that's the adapter. There's no barbed fitting that we can, that, that we've found that you can uh, increase the diameter to where it would fit that 3 8 inch outer diameter tubing. Okay. So, so all we use is a smaller piece of tubing that fits on that, yes. and then that smaller piece, piece of, of tubing, tubing shoves inside oh, the I bigger got you. tubing. Yes, that, I see, I see. You, you got what I'm saying? Yes, I know, bead filter guide. I appreciate it. Customer service guy. <laughs> Customer service guy as well. Yeah. <laughs> Customer service guy. I, 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 I've named you. You're probably going to be on one of, the, um, one of the other videos coming up. So this is what he was referring to. Sticking this small tube inside of here. Wow, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, man, that was it? So sticking this inside of here, and I think I'm going to slap some duct tape on top of it here as well. Let's see if I have some duct tape in here. Yes, I do. I do. All right, so we have this connected here. Now let's go ahead and turn this pump on and see what we get. You can feel this vibrating. Now what's supposed to happen is, this is supposed to be able to push air through here and through this airflow meter where you can monitor how often you want this filter 
to do a backwash or to clean it out. So this is the same problem I was having before that I was talking to Paul about. I'm opening the flow meter and it's getting a resistance. You can see the line here, this is filled with water. You might not be able to see it, but this whole thing is filled with water. That's because this here, this little spigot, is pushing the water against it. And obviously the pressure here is more than the pressure coming in from this, uh, this, uh, this pump here. So I have to figure out what's going on and what's causing this pressure to go ahead and um, to not force, or to, uh, this pressure here to be so strong that it's forcing the air to not be able to come through. I mean, this thing is strong. If I take this off, this thing is gonna shoot to the moon. So we gotta do some diagnosing right now. Now, okay, so now I did this. I hooked it up to a regenerative blower that's, you know, obviously is gonna have more power supply to it than that small pump. But when I'm, yeah. when I'm pumping it, pumping the air uh, through the regenerative blower, going through that tubing, the pressure from the pump, from the, from the bead filter, from that little spigot down there, it's, it's not, it feels like that the pressure that the beat the um the water from that spigot is still like the pressure is too much for the air to come in and um actually be effective like it's not putting any it's not pushing air through it it's not pushing air through the bead filter so check check two things okay the um what is your you've got a pressure gauge yes. on your endurance filter right yes yeah it's a little bit under two psi last time i checked it i'm i'm not at the house right now i just remembered to call you but it was a little under, okay. like around between one and two psi um okay that was what the pressure was yes that's good that's good that's where you want it okay um and 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 that just means so then the next thing to check is Pull off um, uh, your tubing and make sure that you're actually supplying air. You know when, when it's going into the filter. So pull okay. that off. Make sure that you got air. So I have to think. So what could it be that's causing this thing to apply pressure? The only thing that's pu putting pressure on this thing is the pump. But the pump is going through the filter and being released through here, so I'm trying to figure out how is there extra pressure being pushed down here. So this is kind of a puzzle here. This is kind of a weird little puzzle that we're gonna have to try to figure out. Um, I don't know, let me see, let me see if I, uh, if I re reduce the flow here. Let me see if that changes anything, if I re reduce the flow maybe. Does that do anything? Nope, there's still water. Okay, this thing is still filled with water. And the flow meter, this little black bulb is not, it's opened all the way. It's not doing anything. I don't have these open all the way. Let me see if I open all these. Just to test it out. Let me see. Let me test this out. Open all these. All right, let me see. That does anything. Is the flow meter moving? Let me see. Nope. Still not doing anything. Hmm. So I wonder what happens if I just, if I were to open up this valve as well, and maybe that would relieve some of the pressure. Let me just test it out and see. So I'm gonna build something real quick that's gonna connect here and then connect to the sump tank so we can relieve some of the, uh, the flow and some of the pressure. Let's see how that works. All right, here's something that I just rigged up real quick. Something that's gonna just bring the flow back down here to the sump. And we wanna see if this is gonna relieve some of the pressure from this pump. So let's open this up. We'll open this up all the way. Get some flow here. So let's see if that does anything. Does that do anything? Let me open this up. snaps hold on let me see open it up a little more oh okay make sure everything is open all these are open okay still looks like there's water in here am I mistaken is there water in here let me check we'll find out 
There's definitely water in there. Okay, wow, looks like I can still feel some air coming through here, but this pipe here is clean now. There's no water coming through here. You can see this thing is going off the roof. So I gotta cut this down. There's full air coming through here now. So I'm gonna set this probably about 0.3. I'm gonna go in there and, uh, and check the settings to see what I want it to be at. But probably around 0.3 uh, to 0.4. And I'm gonna just leave it, uh, leave it like that. So this still has some air, I feel it, like, coming through the bottom of this. So I'm gonna have to tape this up better. And you can see that the water is starting to come back. If this is not sealed up properly, and you can see when you seal it up, then it comes back. But if you take it off, that, Yep, so it has to be sealed. Here it comes again. But we seal it back up with my hands, it goes back down. So I need to seal this up properly right now. And maybe this duct tape, I'm gonna try it one more time with this duct tape, but with a thinner piece. All right, got it rigged up. Duct tape on it. And it looks like uh, it sealed the whole, uh, it sealed it up all the way, so the pressure is a little bit more. So I'm gonna have to close this valve down here to get it to where I want it to be at, which is gonna be about like I said, we'll start off at 0.3. I'm gonna go look at the the um, the guidelines for the uh, amount of air coming through to the amount of times that it backwashes. They have a, there's a chart for that, so I'll look at that just to double check where I wanted that. But right now, I'll leave it at around 0.3, and that's fine. So from here, that'll be it for right now. Got this set up. Turn on the back on this regenerative blower. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the fish. Let's look at them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. I have to get back out of here before my daughter wakes up and I get caught slipping.